In this video, we will see how to replace old motor switch to Swigo and Swigo Smart. The Swigo Smart and Swigo, the rear connection are almost the same, nothing is different. So we will take um, Swigo Smart and I will explain the connection detail. The old switch, they connect to the line, this is a motor output. Here there is no provision for the neutral, so they make an incoming neutral and the motor neutral together in the joint. But in our Sugyo, in we have a line and a neutral, out these two connected to the motor, this is for the incoming supply, and this one 5 volt DC, this one for the float switch. This one should not connect to 230 volt AC. If you have the float switch, then connect to this two wire. See, removed the incoming wire from the old switch, I connected to the Swigo. Now I am going to remove this outgoing wire, outgoing, it's a motor wire. Then I will connect to the output of the Swigo. Now there is a motor wire, two wire connected in the Swigo output. I don't have the float switch. So I keep this two wire ideal. For the safety purpose, make insulation for the both ends. See now all the wires are connected. Float switch wire insulated properly. Swigo Smart, we can use the app. Swigo Smart app. Setup video already available in our website. You can find this video in YouTube also. Now we can switch on the motor through Swigo.